So Omar went on a play date yesterday. last night and he is exhausted. He's been doing all morning. <laughs> He's just sleeping. Uh, I haven't been able to get a single bit of work done. Not one thing. Okay. It's like 930. I've got to head to the shop here in a little bit. I haven't gotten any packages delivered um, and I don't have anything really on the way other than I have the Nemesis on the way. The uh, Bodega and Niki is on the way. I'm trying to figure out this mystery ink debacle this morning. I'm probably just gonna have someone proxy me from the UK. And um, that's it, I think. I don't think there's anything else. Random clothes and stuff. Like there's like, some Kith, some of the summer Kith stuff is coming. A couple of t-shirts and some swimming trunks and a towel. Uh, the palace hat, a palace hat gets delivered today to Bigfoot. I haven't heard that name in a while. Bigfoot got me the palace hat. And um, yeah, man, that's really it. I don't know what else is going on. So I'm gonna hang out here with this guy for a little bit. I would normally be playing with him right now, but he's done. <laughs> My man is cooked. Ooh, these are still dead stuff? Crazy. Oh shit. That means we never reviewed this. Huh. Crazy. You go back to sleep. I just moved you for two seconds. <laughs> it's not an invitation. Let's go to the shop. Done for. You're so tired today, son. You're just a, such a tired pup. Those kids wore you out. Hmm. Ah, so yeah, the change of plans. I was gonna go to the shop, but now I realize I don't really have time to go to the shop because I have to get drawings ready. Um, we have LA coming up. Well, yeah, there is another Texas trip coming and then stuff like that what else there's something else I need to draw for oh an Asian exclusive shirt it's literally only gonna be available in Asia it's out of my control I'm sorry but <laughs> find yourself an Asian plug it's just so today we're gonna do drawings and I thought that it would be fun or interesting or different or whatever to show you guys because a lot of people are convinced they can't draw a lot of people here's my first off here's my theory everyone in the world can draw I don't care who you are I don't care what you think you know you can definitely definitely draw as a kid you drew freely you know you drew you just kind of made markings you didn't care not until you saw someone that could draw better than you or you were told that your drawing sucked did you decide that you couldn't draw and if you just let all that bullshit go and just decide to make marks on paper that's all the drawing is you can you can draw whatever you want you know what i mean like you, you absolutely can well if you can't draw a circle then you can't draw now i'm not talking about a perfect circle but if you can do this with a marker or a pen you can draw anything in the world so um what i'm what are you doing i'm trying to get up there can you do it i don't think you can do it let's push but let's push but up there you go so i'm going to show you today when I get back, I'm gonna go to the bank and stuff real quick, but when I get back, I'm gonna show you how to start drawing. So we're gonna start with a really, really simple tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to draw something and you're gonna draw it along with me at home and you're gonna be stoked and you're gonna be happy. That's gonna be it. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab some stuff and then we'll be back and we'll do some drawing and we'll hang out with this pub. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do today. And since we never looked at these, I guess we'll look at those. Sometimes my life consists of just sitting down and drawing and I really don't mind it. Got home from the bank, went to the weed shop. Guess who hasn't moved? <laughs> waking up, I'm waking up. Something cool that did happen. Well, that didn't happen. Something cool that I bought, but something that I uh, had never, geez, camera, come on. Or I had never seen, I had heard about it, I guess. But I never actually saw it. These are just wax. Let's see. Look at our live resin. I don't know what this one is. Looks like that though. What is this shit called? White Chem 4. And then 
The Durban Poison. Oh boy. That looks like that. And then the thing you've all been waiting for. Some weed from Snoop Dogg. I don't even know this is a real thing. In my defense, because this is kind of a hype beast thing, it was actually the best looking bud in the store, and I didn't know that, so um, I, I just bought it, and they were like, oh, it's the Snoop Dogg. Do you want the Snoop Dogg box? And I was like, I do, and that's what this is. And it has all kinds of stuff. It's uh, wherever my musical journey has taken me around the world, it's beautiful to see how chronic leaves are a common source of peace, love, and soul that connects us all. I've always been proud of our movement and have personally selected my favorite strains for all to enjoy. Leafs by Snoop is my way of sharing the experience I have with the finest quality cannabis one could imagine. Let's medicate, elevate, and put it in the air. Snoop Dogg. So, look, Snoop Dogg sells you hot pockets, so that's why it's okay if I smoke weed. This thing comes in this crazy box. Grind it, roll it, light it. Do it fluid to help get into it. <laughs> and then this is the container. This is Gold Rush. This honestly, this bud looks really nice. I mean, it's a really nice looking bud. So, yeah. Thanks, Snoop. I know it was kind of clickbaity. I, 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 I tweeted earlier that thanks for the weed, Snoop Dogg. Kind of made it seem like I was hanging with Snoop, but come on, guys. All right, so. Now two o'clock. And Omar is still. No, oh, no. Hey, you're such a tired butt. You went and played way too much, huh? Oh god, look at that stretch. Look at that stretch. Lazy boy today. <laughs> Don't fall. Omar, you're gonna fall. Oh Jesus! Darn! You okay? Crazy. 3.30 p.m. Okay, so I've been drawing most of the day today already and it's getting kind of late, so I, uh, I'm gonna have to hurry up and get some other work done and then get back to drawing pretty much all night. So let's take a look. I want to show you guys. All right, so I'm going to teach you how to draw. As promised, I know you're thinking if you can't draw, and if you already know how to draw, this is going to be stupid to you, I'm sure, but regardless. Like I said before, this is just, a, this is an iPad and this is Procreate the app and this is an Apple Pencil. You don't need all this shit. You can just do it with a piece of paper. So the first thing we're going to do here together is draw a circle. Right? Circle. Just like that. Look at how fucking awesome my circle is. Can you draw that? Did you draw a circle? The next thing we're gonna do. So you, like I said before, you can draw a circle, you can draw anything. It's all about building. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna draw a circle in the middle of our circle. Try to make it as centered as you can, but it's really not a big deal, right? Got it? I know it's really hard. Okay, now this is a little more advanced, or it could be more advanced, but you don't have to make it more advanced. I would normally tell somebody to draw a star shape like this, right? But we don't need to do that. What we're gonna do instead, which is essentially a star shape, but it makes it easier, is draw more circles. So you're gonna put a circle there, and 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 you're gonna put a circle there. And these all kind of dictate each other, and this is really loose and sloppy, but that is Circles, right? So we got what, five, six, seven, some circles. And you can put a line up here if you'd like. You can draw another circle on the outside of this to kind of keep a barrier, right? Now, in between each of our circles, we're just gonna draw a line, just like that. Oh, we missed one. All right, got it? Then, in between here, we're gonna draw another circle. Circle, circle. Now we're gonna draw two lines here to here here to here and so forth and so on. Now, if you haven't figured out yet, you basically have a flower. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it up and then the drawing is done. Let's move this, cause I can't do all this at once. Here we go. Now this is where it takes just a little bit of style, which you will develop or already have, but this is very easy. So now you just want to, you can keep these circular if you'd like, but I like to make them a little different. 
So I like to give them little cuts, like a real flower. And then when you're drawing or learning to draw, reference is key. You know, I've looked at millions of flowers at this point, so I know what I'm doing, but anyone that tells you they don't look at anything when they draw is probably a liar. So there we go, All right? Here we can do more little circle dots. Mm-hmm. You can put another circle in the middle if you'd like. Now these are our leaves, so you just want to follow the shape that you made, follow the shape that you made, follow the shape that you made, follow the shape, follow the shape. And then I like to put a line down the middle, then I like to give it some veins like a leaf has, just some character, you don't have to do it, whatever you want to do. It's a happy little leaf. This is very quick and sloppy, still. Now we erase this and we have a flower. So, there you go. Hope that helps. 420. Call Dirty Urn. Calling Dirty Urn. Yo. Yo. Uh, Did you leave? No. <laughs> no? I'm working on it. It's, it's always more than I think to, but we're pretty much, the truck is packed. It barely fit in. Like, it's like... You have no idea. It was like a fucking jigsaw puzzle of just stuffing everything in our life into it. Nice. The plan was by eight. I thought we'd be out by six. I'm bugging. Mm. But but maybe uh maybe we'll be out by eight thirty nine and we'll get like a good five hours tonight. Nice. You'll probably stop in like Illinois or something. Maybe no, we won't even make it that far, dude. We're lucky if we make it through Pennsylvania to Ohio. It's like five hours through Pennsylvania. Oh, is it? First tonight, maybe tomorrow we do ten. Twelve. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Well, you sound stressed. I just wanted to get you on the vlog saying you were coming. Oh, yeah, but you can also get me saying I'm not stressed because I'm not. I'm pumped, dude. I'm not stressed. <laughs> I'm just like out of breath because I'm fucking been packing and I feel like I'm going to pass out. But me and Chris are about to hit a blunt nice. and then finish this shit off. Nice. So, All yeah. right. Well, we're waiting I'll on you. I'll see you soon. All right. Peace. Peace. Dirty Irons on the way. Da -da 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 -da. Ready? You ready for it? I'm ready for is to get back up on this chair and take no nap. Oh, hey, I'm right here. Yo, I'm right here. Yeah, thanks, jerk. Let's talk about shoes, because today it was funny. I um, just went in there and grabbed a pair of shoes. I didn't know what I was gonna wear, and these caught my eye. And I have realized once I opened the box, I never actually even wore them, which is crazy because when this shoe dropped, I was like bugging the fuck out. Like crazy to get this shoe. I don't know, it didn't even go that nuts, but I think I paid resale for this because that morning they out online or whatever and I didn't get any. And I think I got these from New York and I think I paid like 300 bucks or 350 or something stupid. So um, you can probably still find these now for retail or under retail, but yeah, so. Super sick shoe. I never reviewed it. I never tried it on, but and the reason being too, there was a bunch of uncased that released at once. It didn't have like a hype beast rollout where you know. Omar. Just dog. All right. So it didn't have a hype beast rollout. You know what I mean by that is uh, there was no like limit. Even though it says LTD, there was no real like limit to it. You know, like a couple of the first ones maybe sold out, but then they sort of just dropped a bunch of them. There's never like a collab until the what? I think the colors might be the first uncaged. That's different. And the parlays, but there was never just like there's no hype around it really. It didn't really get hyped up like it should have. Um, and a lot of people don't like the uncaged, but I do. I don't like every single color, but this red colorway I think is one of the absolute best. So that's the box label. That's what it looks like. Pretty sure there's an all white pair too that I bugged out about and also I probably haven't worn. But this is what the shoe looks like. Someone tweeted today that this was a year ago, like next week. So these have been sitting for a year without me even knowing it. There's gonna be all kinds of comments about how stupid I am and that's okay. This is what thy shoe looketh like. So we have an all red, obviously very bright, solar red upper. It has dark, kind of burgundy, digitally peppered in, in a very haphazard pattern, which I really like the way the uncaged pattern doesn't seem very uniform. I think that's cool. One of my favorite things about the pattern and the shoe. Sock-like collar, so it's a lot like our NMDs, and our, you know, now we're familiar with uncaged Ultra Boost, but this was like, you know, one of the first. Uh, black heel cup with 
silver and gold Ultra Boost branding, uh, black Continental Soul, black Torsion System, and then the one main thing is Red Boost. Has there been another shoe with Red Boost since then? I don't think there has been. This is the only Red Boost shoe? Well, okay. So, Red Boost shoe, and that was really the big draw, is just how bright, shocking this shoe is. So, uh, that was my main draw to it. I really liked it. I really liked it. You could barely see the three stripes on the tongue. Once again, one of my main draws to Adidas was the lack of branding, because I liked that you couldn't tell, you know, it didn't have a big check mark going all the way across the fucking shoe. So, uh, the insole was also a solar red regular ultra boost insole and then real quick for uncaged purposes i generally go my true size it's just fine i can't have size down same as regular ultra boost if i take out the insole but 13 is still preferred even though it's called uncaged there is still a reinforcement on the inside it's kind of a suede like material on the inside that does form this kind of inner cage which you definitely do feel so don't get it twisted and uh, pretend like there's nothing here or anything. It's not like an NMD at all. So, but yeah, that's the, uh, I don't even know what they called this. It's just the red, I would say this is the Solar Red Uncaged Ultra Boost. This is probably, like I said, this came out around the time of the Red Apples. I think I was even quoted saying I wasn't tripping about Red Apples because this was very close. Obviously that wasn't true because I got the Red Apples, but this is a great shoe. If you slept, I'm sure you can still get them. If not, whoa. If not, you've probably been enjoying them and I'm just late to the party, but that is what I'm calling the Solar Red Uncaged Ultra Boost. Happy birthday. thing because I'm gonna forget there is a drop this Thursday there are no mystery bags I've been getting hit up Omar chill with the squeaker oh my god this dog <coughs> he's awake come on let's hear it let's hear the squeaks no more squeaks okay all right so ah yeah Fucking toe, God! Oh, that hurt. Whew. All right, so, as I was saying, there is a drop this Thursday. No mystery bags. There's been a ton of requests for mystery bags. We will do it again one day, I promise. It's this week. <coughs> um, there is, so again, we've talked about this before. I've discussed it. The Godzilla shirt. Godzilla shirt is probably the most popular shirt that we've ever made. It's crazy how many people literally email Call, text, write, fax, telegraph, the Godzilla shirt. So, Thursday we're gonna drop some more. This might be your last fucking chance though. Like, straight up, or at least for a while. We're gonna drop regular tees and they're gonna come in a tank top version. There's also some new long sleeve tees, the sideways tee, which you guys saw me wear. Uh, the shirt I was wearing at SneakerCon. Black one you saw with the long sleeve and then the white one. Uh, and it's probably dirty, but this is the, you know, sideways and then going down the sleeve. Back to squeaking. And then going down the sleeves, also sideways, black and white. These are crazy thin hoodie or crazy thin long sleeves, so they're perfect for summertime. I think they're not as heavy as our other ones like this. So black and white and that. Omar! 
black and white in that colorway and was also an out of control long sleeve releasing in black and white and pink uh, well black and white with pink so and then oh your chance to get the pan am catch me if you can shirts they're finally going to hit online it's not a full stock it's just what's left over so good luck if you've been looking for one there's definitely one in every size i mean there's more than one in every size but there's not a ton of them be quick uh, Godzilla sells out quick. Everything will probably go pretty fast, so make sure you're on it. Uh, the drop will most likely be Thursday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. I will announce if it's going to be any different than that. So that's what's going on. Uh, I've got to get back to drawing. Well, first I got to edit this vlog. Then I got to get back to drawing. Play with Omar, make some dinner, and go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow. So peace.